tonight we are taking a closer look at handguns, particularly those used by law enforcement officers. This after officers from two law enforcement agencies accidentally fired their weapons in less than a week. A JSO officer's gun unintentionally went off outside of Westside Middle School. That was just yesterday. An administrative investigation is underway for that, and JSO tells us that could take up to six months. The officer involved is not on administrative leave. And then last Friday, FHP says one of their auxiliary troopers, quote, inadvertently discharged a gun. So how can this happen? Juliet Dreyer is on our side tonight with the answers. Juliet? We went to an expert who said the most common time this happens is when an officer is putting the gun back in their holster. Our safe direction is going to be over here. As a state certified firearms instructor with three decades of law enforcement experience, Jeff Nolan knows a lot about handguns. It's a simple, simple firearm. Including those most commonly used by law enforcement officers. 88 to 90 percent of the country law enforcement from federal down to state and local carrying the Glocks. Nolan explains that Glocks have three built-in safety mechanisms. The main one... It doesn't matter what I do, I cannot make this go off. On the trigger, sets the rest into motion. I can pull as hard as I want till I almost break it. It's not going off. The moment I depress this, it will go off. While it's still unclear what caused both the FHP auxiliary trooper and the JSO officer's guns to go off, Nolan says this type of gun won't fire. And there's where my finger belongs. Unless a finger is on the trigger. You have to engage it. You have to put your finger on the trigger. Nolan says the most common time this happens is when an officer is reholstering their weapon. And my finger is on that trigger. It hits right there exactly what it does. Nolan says it all comes down to training and awareness. While officers go through rigorous firearms training during the academy, it's critical to continue training throughout their careers and never get too relaxed with gun in hand. The moment you pick up a firearm, uh, everything's got to be out of your mind except that firearm. What are you doing with it? In St. Johns County, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.